Hi lovelies, it's Jasmine here from Fluorescent Jazz. And as you can see by the title of the video, today we are gonna be doing Married at First Sight season 11 couple predictions. I have been so obsessed with season 11 of Married at First Sight and watching all the episodes. It's been so fun to watch and it's also been fun to watch all of the reviews that people do and all the commentary on the show just as much as watching the show. And I have some thoughts myself on these couples and I thought I would go ahead and share. Now, I must admit that this is my first season like watching Married at First Sight all the way through. I've seen episodes of different seasons and stuff, um, so that may also sway my opinion a little bit. I should have followed my first mind and did predictions like a, a week ago or so, but I saw that episode 13 was coming out and that one looked pretty juicy, which in fact it was. And I was gonna decide that I was gonna sway any of my opinions of the couples. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the first couple that I'm just going to get out the way because, I mean, they decided for us. I don't even have to make predictions. I mean, I didn't think they would stay together anyway, but that is Brett and Olivia. During the wedding and during the honeymoon at first, I was like, okay, I see potential there. I can see them lasting. But as soon as that girl rated that man a seven, it just went all downhill from there. They fundamentally wanted different things. Brett ended up being like a real jerk. Uh, Olivia just was so set in her ways and her idea of what marriage was and exactly what she wanted. It didn't seem like she was going to compromise in a way that was going to be effective for the marriage. And they just didn't work out. I mean, Brett, the way Brett ended things was pretty rude. Um, he was just like, no, no thanks. And I'm just like, wow, <laughs> tell us how you really feel. But I'm kind of glad that they just got it out the way because I didn't see it go anywhere. Like you could literally see the soul leaving Olivia's eyes as each episode aired. I was just like, uh, I was trying to skip over their scenes because at certain points it just was like painful to watch in a way. So I'm glad that they nipped it in the bud, hang it up, flat screen, and I don't know if it's, this is a spoiler, like if you aren't interested in those types of things, then just go ahead and skip over this. Sometimes I um, look at some of the comments on some of like the fan pages and stuff, and someone said that Brett has a girlfriend. I was like, what? And like two people actually said that he had a girlfriend and they said that they saw her and she was a downgrade. So I was just like, oh, that's interesting because I also saw something where Dr. Viviana said um, under a picture of Brett and Olivia, she's like, these two may surprise you as if they may be coming back on on um, one of the episodes. So that'll be interesting to see. Sorry if I spilled some tea. Yeah, <laughs> dead the situation. Dead. Next, we have one of my favorite couples. I think like these are, these two are one of everyone's favorite couples and that's Amelia and Bennett. So the experts did a wonderful job matching Amelia and Bennett. It just seems like they just belong together. Unlike Brett and Olivia. The experts did a horrible job matching them, but a great job with Amelia and Bennett. And I love them together. I definitely do see them staying um, together on decision day. Um, long term, I also can see them staying together, especially with Bennett agreeing to spend time with her in Virginia. And they just like mesh so well together as a couple and um, I get so excited when I see them on the screen and I feel like the love that they have like you know you don't get that with everyone especially they're you know peculiar people they're eccentric they're kind of quirky and I feel like you know they're wonderful people that can get along with anyone but that's not just like someone that you can always be married to and um, I feel like they complement each other so well so I'm very much excited for for them and to kind of see their journey play out. I will say that um, I feel like they're both like easygoing, like go with the flow people. And I could kind of see um, down the road, them kind of saying, oh, like it just didn't work out. Like they were going down different paths and I feel like it would be like super amicable if they did split up and they would be very much so like, this wasn't serving me in my spirit anymore. Um, but I have high hopes for them and I think that they will stay together. Next, I'll go to my other favorite couple and that is Amani and Woody. I'm obsessed. 
Uh, so you probably can tell that I'm biased and I think that they will stay together. I remember the first episode, people were going in on Woody. They were like, I don't know about him. He looks like a little playboy. And I think Woody has done an amazing job of uh, just proving how much he loves Amani and that he's in the relationship for the long haul. So I definitely think that they will stay together up to decision day. And um, I think that they have something special and they can definitely, you know, have love that lasts a lifetime. Um, I I will say for them I think that the biggest challenge will be post show right so I think up until you know the show ends they'll be wonderful but life outside of the show I think um that's what they have to kind of work on and get together Amani in the episode 13 she's like boy what's in them DMs and girl let me just say this when the show ends you probably gonna be seeing some DMs to Woody because that's just how these girls are out here I remember there was a comment on Instagram and um, some girl said if Woody was five inches taller, me and Imani would have to fight. So <laughs> um, I don't think she'll have to worry about that. Imani can definitely hold her own and I feel like Imani is not going to take no okie doke, but I love them together. I definitely think they could be a power couple. Like if they stay together, they can do big things together and make the shmoney. I mean, people have already been talking about them having a spin-off show and all this other stuff, but I think they just need to work on their marriage and building that bond, not work on having kids or anything like that, like they've been discussing. Um, I know that's a normal discussion in marriage, but I think they should just continue building that bond and uh, growing together, and I think they'll have something special. All right, so we got Brett and Olivia, out the way we got Bennett and, and Amelia out the way we got Amani and Woody out the way there's two more couples and these are couples that are like eh so I'll get the couple out the way that I just don't think will stay together at all and you're probably like is it Miles and Karen or is it um Christina and Henry we'll talk about Christina and Henry first like Every time they're on my screen, I'm like, why are y'all still <laughs> I'm like, why are y'all still on my screen? Like they have nothing in common. They're giving me nothing. I mean, they're giving me entertainment, but they know they don't want each other. Like they are definitely still there for a check. I after episode 13 happened when she didn't give him anything for his birthday, when she was gone for a whole day and lied talking about she was going for a walk when she was with friends and hanging out when she lied on his on him and said that he was gay like why would you want to stay in that relationship neither one of them clearly are happy i mean i just don't understand it like i think that they are getting paid to be together i mean we know christina doesn't have anywhere to stay so christina's like i have a free place to stay you know henry's probably like i can just rack up some cash for a little bit and just finish out this season i don't know maybe they signed a contract or something maybe through the producers are like you know just just stay just give the people something to see and um at this point i don't want to see it anymore because they don't belong together i know people talk about henry a lot like and people say that henry's on the spectrum and I'm sorry, when I saw that, I couldn't help but laugh, which is that's not appropriate, but um, I don't think Henry's on the spectrum. Like, I do think there is some anxiety there and there may be something um, there, but I mean, I'm definitely not a specialist to diagnose him as someone on the spectrum, but he seems like fine talking to other people and expressing some type of emotions to other people. It just seems like Christina is the one where he has that issue. So with that being said, um, I just think that they're just incompatible and they just need to move on. I mean, Christina probably is already seeing someone else. Who knows? And Henry can do so much better. Henry, go get Kristen, Kirsten or whoever. Like, you, this situation with them, just hang it up. All right. I definitely do not see them staying together. And I was like, I mean, next week's episode 14 will be entertaining. But I'm just like, what, what are y'all doing? Like sometimes I even have to fast forward when they're on the screen because it's painful to watch. But um, yeah, we sh we shall see. I, I definitely don't think they will stay together. I mean, it's just, it's, it's pretty clear. But now we have the last couple that I'm gonna talk about and that is Karen and Miles. And my predictions for Karen and Miles, do 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 do. I actually think they're going to stay together. I know. 
somebody is probably somewhere calling me crazy thinking that they're gonna stay together um last episode it didn't make me as hopeful but i'm thinking like 60 percent chance they stay together 40 percent chance they break up and i say that because miles does not strike me as a person to give up especially knowing that this is his wife and karen um i i see her slowly coming around i'm not gonna lie miles has been giving miles <laughs> the whole time no pun intended and karen has been given inches okay no she hasn't even been given inches she's been given centimeters okay the whole time my miles has been given miles and i i can tell that he we saw it in episode 13 that he is really getting uh tired um but it seems like karen is slowly coming around and to see the emotion that she had in the last episode i think that she wants to make it work she needs to be doing more if she really wants to make it work um but I do see them lasting. I think it's like a slow climb for them. It's a slow build. Um, but I do think that they have potential. I know people, everybody is saying Miles get out of the relationship. People do not like Karen. Um, I do initially feel like Karen wasn't attracted to Miles, but I think him revealing himself over time and just showing that he's there for the long haul he cares about her and he's like protecting her and her heart i think um has proved something to karen but she has to do more she has to show that she is in this and she hasn't done that thus far so that's why i'm saying 60 60 percent chance that they'll stay together and 40 percent chance that they will end things but yeah that they have been like really interesting people have been going in on karen and this okay i don't know if i should share this because this may be like a little bit of a spoiler but um and one of the comments someone was going in on people because they're like i can't believe you all are going in on karen i can't believe black women are treating another black woman like this and they're like they end up staying together so you guys shouldn't jump to conclusions so i have no idea who this person was it looked like it was coming from a ghost account so it could have been someone trolling or it could have been a family member i don't know um i was watching another review um india and michelle i think they reviewed episode 13 so i'll leave their uh their review link down below but india mentioned that one of karen's friends um like you know i guess she did an interview and said some information about karen and it gave more insight to how karen kind of thinks and this person was saying that karen's parents have a 10-year um they have a 10 year difference in age. Her dad is in her 70s and her mom is in her 60s. So that kind of gives some insight with Karen's views on relationship and kind of having that masculine, you know, husband and having that energy. So I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. We shall see how everything pans out. I'm really excited for episode 14. I probably will end up reviewing the reunion, the reunion episode um, and kind of see how that pans out with everyone but i am excited um to see the results and i'm honestly ready for the season to be over like i love the season but i just kind of want to see the couples get on with their normal life and do things um and i feel like they've been dragging the season out so long they've already been together longer than eight weeks so i feel like we should just pretty much end the season i think there's only a couple episodes left so we shall see i thank you all for watching my video today let me know your thoughts in the comments like do you agree with what i'm saying do you feel like some couples should just hang it up and who are your favorite couples I look forward to reading all the comments and it will also mean the world if you subscribed to my channel. Take care. I'll talk to you all soon.